Are you mixed? People have been asking me that for six decades. Growing up during the civil rights era of the 1960s and 70s, black is beautiful was my credo, even though the mirror did not reflect a lush chocolate brown skin tone. After so many questions about my ethnic composition, I took a DNA test in May 2012. After retiring from my day job at the California Highway Patrol, DNA doesn't lie, they say. Those DNA results clearly told the tale of how much cream floats in my African coffee. Like many African Americans, I have long dreamed of having my Kunta Kinte moment and finding which tribes make up my African DNA. And what about that Blackfoot Indian heritage I was told we have? How could I find my enslaved great-great-grandfather Otho Williams when I knew nothing about him, except what was on the 1870 United States Census. To trace an African-American family back into slavery before 1865 is usually difficult, often impossible, but I was determined to be successful this time. I wanted to leave a written legacy of our family history for my grandchildren, but I had no idea where to start until the ancestors began filling my head with an outline for the book, questions to investigate, goals to attain, and a mandate to finish this book. I began to purchase many genealogy and history books, primarily about slave and free life in Western Maryland. This is just adding to my already pretty reasonable library of African-oriented books. I worked night and day in my little research room, first writing about the things I already knew about my family, such as stories about my mother's life, my grandmother's life, and other people who were in the family, writing everything that I could think of that I had been studying over the last four decades. Then came the difficult work of finding answers to my many questions about our Williams lineage from Maryland. I looked at census records. I looked at African American manumissions in Washington County. I looked at land records, trying to find anything about my second great grandfather, Otho Williams. I even printed out a huge map on my wall in the research room, trying to find out where in Western Maryland my family lived versus the other white Otho Williams that were in the same area. There's Funkstown and there's Hagerstown and there's areas down in here, Boonesboro and Williamsport. Where did my family come from? Where were the slave owners? Oh, it was too, too much. It was right after the new year, 2017, when I finally found Otho's parents. And after more of an intensive search several days later, I found the slave owner. Glory be, it was a fantastic new year. Then I felt compelled to travel to Western Maryland in order to experience firsthand where my Williams family lived in the 1700s and 1800s. The brass ring would be finding the place where they were slaves, smelling the air they breathed, and walking the roads they traveled so long ago. Standing on Slave Rock was unimaginably emotional, as was visiting the Antietam Ironworks. And that's when I knew this adventure would be more exciting than I ever imagined. Check out Finding Otho, The Search for Our Enslaved Williams Ancestors, Available January 2019 on Amazon.com.